Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, infiltrated the warehouse a little bit further uh, than where we were when I started the last episode. So, we are basically, basically, blah, 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 basically near the last rooms, I'm assuming... Well, that was delightfully close to screwing me over. Don't think there's anyone else in here, so I'm just going to come in here and bloop. Snap. And dead. Okay, good. Take your ammo. And then I noticed there was a blue item somewhere, but I want to pick up this first. It's in here. Blade physical damage. Oh, for the mantis blades. Uh, gotcha, what's in here? Slow rotor increases mantis blade attack speed by 20%. Mm, okay. Yeah, I know it's a hostile area. You don't need to keep telling me. I would have figured as much, considering, you know, I kind of ran in here and snapped a guy's neck. That kind of indicates there may be problems afoot. Okay. What are you over here for, Johnny? Oh, boy. Gutted out all our implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Jesus. Scavs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Yeah. Real first mission with uh, full control of the player. After the whole prologue bit. Torn fishnets. Didn't expect to see that. And now I'm starting to wonder why I saw it. Okay, please tell me there's no one down that hallway. There is. But they are facing away from me. <laughs> I just hate it. It always smells like piss on a rotting corpse. Take a walk to the dogs. Your brain needs air. I hate the dogs too. The whole city is one giant rot pile. Well, you're just never happy, are you? All right. Well, not much we can do about that, other than kill you. But I mean, that's not necessarily going to be good for you. Okay, uh, where do I go from here? I don't have enough buffers to make this work. I can guarantee that. Well, maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Let's see. I think there, 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 there. Holy shiza. <laughs> okay, Reggie, don't be mad at me. I did German. When a primarily English speaking video. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Jesus. Alright, you know what, Reddy? Do whatever you feel you need to. <laughs> I am a mess. Okay. Ooh, there's more stuff. Another slow rotor. Okay. Alright. Open this door. 
Huh. I see, said the blind man to his deaf son as he pissed into the wind. It's all coming back to me. All right, so... Huh. I was thinking it'd be easier to go around this way, but I'm starting to wonder now. Yep. Well, no other real way to deal with this. There's none that I can see. Guess I gotta do this the old-fashioned way. And the easiest way to do it is to limit their lines of sight on me. Oh, wait. Hmm? Perhaps. Okay, well, maybe. Maybe, if I'm able to drag him out. Nope, not happening. Okay. It's worth the shot. Alright, well... And... Okay, I had open fire. There's only one other way to get this out. Oh, of course there was cameras. It was late enough in the episode, Reggie. Relax. All right. Well, that wasn't gonna. That wasn't gonna end well. Didn't notice the cameras. That was absolutely on me. Oh yeah. Want to try that? And they stopped even noticing I'm around. Amazing. <laughs> managed to sneak around for long enough that they lost track of me. I have no idea what you just said. I'm assuming it was probably very angry. Okay, well... Yeesh. Use them as a puppet in a virtue that killed him. Then tore out his implants. Jesus. Scavenge for parts does not belong to Evan Parker. Brain dance actor used for illicit brain dances, then harvested for parts after death. Was this the one who got thrown into that brain dance where he felt like he was being torn apart. Oh, Jesus. That is seriously messed up. Okay. All right. Well, went about as well as I could hope. That little bit of combat. Who's the shrinking violet? Is it you? Well, I mean, if that's one way you want to look at it, sure. Go right ahead. Sure. Okay. Oh, I could hack into this. I have no idea what that did. <laughs> it said hack into it. What, is, what does that mean? I don't know. No idea. Oh well. It doesn't matter anyway. What do you mean by hmm? Hmm. Hmm what? Okay. Well. Don't make trouble be trouble. Okay. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? 
freed up the elevator. It should be easier to get out of here. Well, that is something. You really don't fuck around, do you? Yeah. Wait one sec for me. Okay. I mean, I wasn't quite done yet. Definitely, you know, people I need to shoot. You would definitely have All a weird right, gate here. to you. So All right. Hang in there, Ed. All right. There we go. You're down. And it was down quick. Took care of him in like three shots. Technically two, but you know. Third one was just in case. Just in case. You know. Double tap rules and all that. It's best to follow them whenever you can. Ooh, stress belt. I shall jack into this. Ha ha ha. Ooh, this one's going to be a little harder. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough buffers to make this work. Yeah, pretty sure. All right. I'm gonna go with this. One C, one C, B D. Okay. That's probably the best I was gonna be able to get. All right. Ah, that's where the rest of them were. Any more in this room? No. Well, in that case. Snap. Bye. Down you go. Oh, fuck off. Well, I mean, that doesn't allow me to shut it off. Oh, uh, well. Makes sense. Psycho's protective layer tight tank. And 2,800 euro dollars. That's okay, I guess. Steel pipe. I'm not going to make the joke. I'm not going to make the joke. Even though it would be very easy to. Extremely easy to. Alright. Just a bunch of scavengers on brain dances. Okay. Okay, let's turn you off. And <laughs> they're sitting there alerted, but they're not doing anything. Yeah, do los muertos skulls and then gimp masks bye to you cause fuck you and bye to you cause fuck you I just noticed that when they're dead X's show up on the eyes with these masks that happened to the other one too <laughs> just frowny face instead. <laughs> I don't know if that was something that was added in or something that was in the original code and was bugged, but that is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's fantastic.
Alright. 1053 and a 1054? What the hell? The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, Jesus. their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned. Peter to Pan. News for developments in the story. Okay. Well, I guess that's a thing. Alright, since I shut it off, maybe I can do it... I can do it this way. At least this way I can get the engineering experience. The real trick is getting up to the other cameras I turned off. Um, that's not there. What am I doing? It's up here. Which, again, going to be a trick. But maybe I can manage it. Got to put the gun away, maybe. I set away. Not swapping to the next one. Okay. So much for that idea. Okay. At least not the way I was envisioning it. Oh, I can jump to get that one. Cool. And I'm pretty sure I can get this one. Easy. Cool. All right. Just drop down that way. And run away. All right. I didn't search all the rest of these rooms, though. What is this here? Richie and... Aureli? I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Never seen that before in my life. How'd you find me? How do you think? I cut through your firewall like a hot knife through butter. Outdated code gates. Prehistoric system architecture. Your firmware's got more holes than a gangbang joy toy. Jesus Christ. That's phrasing that I didn't expect. All right. Get to the point. I think Netwatch found my BBS. What? BBS. A place where Netrunners can exchange info without fear of being watched. Like a hacker club. Get it? Okay, but what do I have to do with it? Your agency has access to one of them. If you could sniff them out, check if... I'll give you the cords. No, I can't. Please, if they find us, they won't bother with arresting and interrogating. Do you understand? I'm sorry, I already told you. We're through. If you want help, ask Max. Maybe apart from his supposedly huge dick, he's got some useful contacts. Well, I was hoping for their sake that was true. And then there's the... Ooh, I can force this open or use my technical ability. Forcing open is more fun. <laughs> Big strong man. Alright, get some ammo. Some more ammo. Ah, another new eight pistol. Not as Actually, it's better than my current pistol. What the feck? I need to level this one up if I'm already getting outclassed by newer ones I'm finding. Alright. Helps if I hit the right button, though. Um, Upgrades? Let's see. Ah, I can upgrade it. Good. Alright. Let's bring it up to... Oh, I need to reach level 16 to be able to do the next upgrade. So, 181 is still pretty okay. That ain't terrible. Can I increase Psalm any? Actually, you know what? Let's do Dying Knight. Try and keep it up. Okay. Insufficient components. Ah! Shiza. Alright. Ooh, I gotta level up out of all of that crafting. Oh! 
Oh, yeah, I forgot this was added in this patch. So, in 1.3, apparently they allowed a way for you to reset your perk points so you can just respend them the way you want. If you absolutely felt you needed to. And, kind of, quite frankly, I did feel I did goof up in some ways regarding that. But, that is not necessarily something I'm going to do for right now. Later, maybe. Crafted clothes gain 5% more armor. I don't really run around in crafted clothes all that much. Hmm. Grenades deal more damage. Consumables up by 25%, then 50% for the next one, I'm sure. I'd rather do field technician, because I actually use crafted weapons a lot more, technically. There we go. Yeah, that's good. I'm okay with that. Crafting did go up by a level. That was why. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Why is there a room here that I can't get into? Oh, well. I'm wondering if I blow this up, would I be able to get through that wall to get to the next room? I doubt it. To the point that I'm not even going to try it. But, it'd be an interesting thought. An interesting thought that would actually be cool if it was implemented. But, probably isn't. Oh, I already dealt with this room. Okay. Alright, time to head in. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If okay. she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Okay. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. Jeez. What did it break? I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Oh, Jesus. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! She looks... Thank God. Beat up. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no Other choice. than the broken nose. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. I'm sure she has been. Not even worth it asking her now. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. All right. Let's carry her out. What, nothing smarmy to say? Yeah. Alright. Okay. And out we go. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit, I trust. Half an hour before any response team arrived on the scene. Over 700 rounds fired in that time. What happened? Where are the gunmen now? Well, the NCPD is responsible for the safety and security of all citizens within city limits. Sarah, Sarah, but, uh, sweetheart, don't feed us some NCPD script. Be honest with our viewers. 
When will they finally be safe? When will they no longer need to carry a concealed weapon for a trip to the mall or to take their kids to play ball in the park? Uh, I, the, the, the NCPD is doing everything it can. Huh. Look at that cop score. That's another thing that I noticed as well. Uh, in this newest patch, 1.3, it seems the timing of audio uh, audio files when they're running with video and whatnot, especially in news stories like that, they seem to actually be tweaked to closer actually feeling realistic. I phrased that badly, but uh, <laughs> it, it actually feels more correct as opposed to the way it was sitting like a week ago. This seems far more correct and it's nice to see. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Smoking's for posers, and it stinks, too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck. <laughs> we going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. Yeah, that does seem like your style. I'm not about to stand around waiting for some dumb whore to finally wake up and realize what she's done. Would you stop it? Won't be looking much better if you don't get your ass in gear. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. Well, he's not quite happy with me, but quite frankly, I don't care. Jesus. Hey, V. Thought just occurred to me. Can't start your career in the Mager Leagues right by sporting some rag of a t-shirt. The wind blows a lot stronger up there on the top of the world. Old-timers like me hate to watch you kids catch cold. Left you a couple things in your stash at your apartment. Give them an honest try, and I bet they'll fit you just right. <laughs> I feel like I owe you a bajillion eddies already. No way I can accept another gift. Another? Hope you don't think those Kuroshis were charity. Anyway. Well. Okay, the text got goofed up there. But, I mean, that's par for the course. Anyway, where else would I find a home for these things? Not Misty's style, and my punk days are long behind me. Anyway, hope they serve you well. As they say, style is supreme, or maybe they don't anymore, I don't know. I mean, you're right, they don't say that anymore. Double life. Oh, yeah. We're gonna have to talk to Judy. I'm kinda curious what might be up here, though. Since I'm running around already. Might as well. Whoop. Wee. Nothing up here, as far as I can tell. Alright. Well, down we go, then. Talk to Judy. Let's see how Evelyn's doing. Okay, it eventually pulled me in the right direction. Anything going on here? There's a thing. 75 years of cyberware. I think I've already read that. Jesus, there's so many things strewn around her apartment that I can read. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. Makes sense. I really 
I really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I get it. Thank you. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Shut up, Johnny. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah. I had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Alrighty. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. You've been saying it doesn't look good from the start. Shut up. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might. Okay. Well, now, look at you. Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die. You're right. This is a complete waste of time. Shut up, Johnny. Jesus. Alright. I don't blame her for a second for how she's feeling. Jesus, all right. Have a seat. Will do. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. No worries. All right. The quality's lousy, but I did what I could. Okay. What am Let's I looking see. out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it in the parfait body. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Interesting extremely encrypted slash corrupted data centering around this one person.
What am I looking out for? Take a look around if you want. Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That or someone's working it for her. Possible. No further data other than female personal data hidden by ID Scrambler requiring high net running skills. Gotcha. Okay. I can see that. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. And it would also make sense considering net running, you know, superpowers here, keeping this lady from being recognized in any way, shape, or form. Thieves symbolism typically associated with voodoo. Church run by the voodoo boys. Fair enough. Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a lay. We what need from about his message? Only if it it's most important that he suspects uh, nothing. Try to be your Might not be important. Relax, so. Maybe. But all of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Yeah. Possibly. Thermal. At least on thermal I can get a decent image of what, you know, the outline looks like. Nothing audio-wise, near as I can tell. Hmm. Piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait bully. Yeah, I'm going to lean into possibly voodoo boys myself, because that is French and that is typically. Considering that Haiti was a colony of the French for a while, I'm going to lean towards Voodoo Boys for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that they're correct on assuming the Voodoo Boys are having some, you know, some part in this whole shenanigans. But I find it interesting how almost heavy handed the references to voodoo are like this is it's hard to describe what my brain is thinking right now it's like they're intentionally trying to point the finger at the voodoo boys in this regard but it might not even be them that's behind everything. It might be some higher up player. All right, I think we got everything. All right. I don't know. I don't know where my brain is going with that. I'm half asleep, and I have not had enough caffeine yet, so that might be why. Ooh, that's a little bright. What do you think? Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her ship. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? Probably. She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. The woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. It's all right. 
It looks like Avalon never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into? Oh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. A bit. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. Mm -hmm. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Okay. Oui, oui, allez. Vous avez bien raison, moi, vous êtes tous intelligents pour ça. Vous êtes bien. On ne veut pas enrager. En plus, vous êtes plus bon moyen nous gagner pour nous vivre sur yon nous. Il faut que nous prenions chance là. Vous avez un plus bon leader? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est pour me critiquer ça, je pense, je vais continuer à faire le travail. Quelle langue est-ce qu'elle parle? Je ne sais pas. Haitian Creole? C'est les Voodoo Boys. Je ne l'ai pas. Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Okay, I could do that. Editing mode. Switch. Try scanning the phone. Okay. Yep, I can't go lower than this for some reason. Okay. You're leaving perception range. Okay. Haitian Creole. Hmm. It's roughly based on French, because I heard Très Bien in there somewhere. Okay. Alright, let's scroll. Well, got it. Well, I'll give it a second. Okay. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Caught another name. Something like Silverhand? We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Good. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Good. Uploading language pack and doll is left. Yes, you were right. She's too smart for her own good. Will she bring us trouble? She wouldn't dare. Besides, she's our best route to Yorinobu. We must take this risk. I wish I shared your confidence that Silverhand will lead us to Alt. Silverhand will lead us to Alt. You have a better idea? Good. And when you're done questioning my judgment, you can get back to work. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. Okay. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. Oh, she doesn't know, does she? That's right. Hey. You got any idea? A biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Yep. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff. In my head. Uh, um, of course. And by in my head, I mean talk to Johnny. Know who they are, who the woman is. Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. 
Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your finger. Okay, you don't have to be like that. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. No, nah, just find us that Juju wirehead, okay? Okay, you had to bring up Juju? Okay. Alright. Okay. Relive it. Brain dance quarterly. I think I read that already. And he's gone. Okay. Bushido and Neo Postmodernism. Okay, I'll read that next episode. For right now, I gotta end this one because we're a little bit over time. Also, oh boy, a lot of things I need to process. Wowzers. Okay, so Evelyn was technically just hired to do the virtue for the Voodoo Boys. And she already knew about the biochip at some point prior to that job. And then she organized a heist to take the biochip out from underneath the Voodoo Boys' nose, which was not a good idea, but it was an idea. Um, the fact that she managed to do that is impressive, but then on top of that, they sent some sort of hit squad after her. Well, at least an attack on her, and then after that, things went downhill for her from there. Mentally, she's probably fucked up right now. She's probably well aware that that's all her fault. Ugh. Jesus. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to process the last half an hour because... Wow, a lot of story was dumped on me. So we got Evelyn back and find out who she was working for, but who she was working for only wanted the virtue, not anything involving the heist. The heist was planned by her, but what did the voodoo boys want with Johnny Silverhand and the relic in the first place? I don't. She probably thought that she was going to get some decent payoff for doing the job the Voodoo Boys already wanted to get done. But then the whole thing went south, and... Oh, Jesus, I've gone cross-eyed. Uh, well, I'll just figure that out on my off time for you.